Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. This week we're going to talk about electric vehicle supply equipment, or more commonly known as at-home chargers. Let's get to it. So with my new garage, you may be wondering what electric charger I'm choosing. I'm choosing the Altel Maxi Charger Home Smart Electric Vehicle Charger. So this is a level two charger. Um, it's actually rated up to 50 amps. So at 50 amps, you can gain about 37 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. It's got the J1772 charge plug that basically interfaces with just about any vehicle here in North America. Looks like a nice powder coated bracket for mounting some wall anchors so this one looks like you will mount um, call it the charge port hanger separate from the charger and we've got some stickers to put on your electrical panel and the installation guide it has got a NEMA 4 enclosure that means it's pretty much waterproof dust proof uh, it can be used in outdoor applications like most things, I choose the more challenging route. I've got the hardwired version and later decided I want it to be plugged in. So normally you wouldn't have to do this, but I'm gonna build my own plug. So six gauge, six gauge. Also for the NEMA plug, um, I'm gonna use type 650. So that's what I've got here, 650. It is UL, CSA, and Energy Star certified. Before I install this in my brand new garage, I've got a 220 outlet that I'm gonna use to make sure everything's set up correctly. All right, so first it kind of blinked them all, I think green, then red, then blue. So it's got uh, lots of different indicators, one for power, one for internet, one for charge, one for Bluetooth, one for RFID. I will quickly walk you through the setup of the app. Pay no attention to the racing in the background. So on the instructions, there's a QR code that you can scan. It brings you directly to the app, which you can download. Once you've installed the app, you'll need to register. For this, it wants your phone number to send you a text code. So you copy the text code, then set up your password and register. Then you'll want to add your charger. On the installation guide, there is a unique barcode and serial number. You scan this QR code to link it to your app. You can then add Bluetooth. I paired it with my phone and connect it to Wi-Fi. This allows for quick and easy communication from the charger to your phone. It then wants your location. For some reason, the default location is in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So I reposition this to my home. You can then set your energy price for your location. You can select it to auto start and you can change the max current setting. I'm gonna set mine to 40 amps. There's a schedule feature in which you can schedule the time of day that you would like it to charge so you can utilize more favorable energy costs during non-peak hours. I've just gone through the app and set things up. So now we've got internet connected. We're uh, connected via Bluetooth. The last thing for me to do is hook it up and make sure we can charge. So again, this is not the position that I'm gonna mount it, um, but I do have the correct outlet here. So what I'm gonna do, just make sure I can charge, I've got my car way over there.
over there. And I'm gonna make sure the plug can reach and that everything charges okay. This is for another episode. Don't pay any attention to that. I am in the middle of doing some paint correction. A future episode. So as you can see, this is why we really wanted the uh, new garage. We've got lots of stuff, just um, not enough space to work. But this does give us an opportunity to try out the length of the cable. So we're going kind of from right here all the way to the back over there. It is a little bit of a stretch, but we are actually plugged in. This is, I'll call it, got a garage here. So like one, two bays over, and then all the way to the back. So we are plugged in. Again, it's a little tight, but that is quite the reach for 40 amps to get all the way back here. So you can hear my car chargers on. We'll check the app and see what it says. All right, as you can see there, it says uh, it's got the charge flashing, which means it's charging. All right, so on the app, it says that it's charging. I think this is how much it's charged so far. So 0.087 kilowatt hours. So again, the total energy as well as the duration, I can stop it right here from the app. So I'll go ahead and hit stop. I heard it click off and I heard my car charger kick off. So now we're starting the charge. I heard it click on. I heard my car charger kick on. So that is awesome. I can do it all from my phone. Vehicle. So there for the uh, four minutes that I charged, it cost me a penny. Really didn't get any distance. It's got even the saved CO2 emissions. I think the count is how many times I charged. I charged twice. Yep, here you go for one minute and for three minutes. A lot of good data there. Haven't used any public chargers. You can set up your payments. Charge card. Again, this is the Altel card. So this has got some of your system messages. When your charging start, stop. Again, this would be very helpful for kind of a public or apartment style charging where you want to see who's been charging and for how long. Again, this is the status of the charger. The RFID is if this is kind of more in a public or semi-public setting, like an office or maybe an apartment building, um, you can actually get key cards and kind of tap them right there and that will kind of unlock it and allow you to charge. The onboard charger that I chose for my car actually isn't very fast and will not draw the 40 amps. I'm inviting a friend who has a more traditional EV to see how it charges. This looks sweet. So what is this? Um, what year and everything? 2021. Mustang Mach-E premium all-wheel drive standard battery. Oh, nice. This all right, so show me on the app or on your car what it looks like. Never put Charging, charge level. That, the range gets killed in the cold in there. Oh, yeah. It's like so different. Um, so if I go here. So my friend's car was able to get the full 40 amps this that I programmed the into the unit. Charge. And I have to say these new cars are really cool. The interior and all the uh, displays. You can really make use of a good charger. Hope you like my selection of a more standard EV. I think it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty sweet. Like. Then you just close it. Yeah, I just close it and push it in. It's kind of in the middle. Sometimes I can't. Yeah. 
There we go. So we got it installed, looks really good. I'm really happy with the performance, all the uh, kind of features, the app's really good. If you're interested in this charger, I will leave a link in the description below on where you can pick one up, both on their website as well as like Amazon. That does it for this week. See you next time.